Hello, my name is Patrick Pardella. I'm a student in the plant biology department. I work in Dr. Faith Bellinger's lab. And today I'll be talking about the applications of the fungal endophyte epicloephus duce antifungal protein EFE AFPA. So our lab works with a tripartite relationship with a grass host, its fungal endophyte, and a uh, fungal pathogen of the grass. Our grass host is Festuca rubra, which is a cool season turf grass, which is often endophytically infected with the endophyte epicloid festuce, which provides uh, both physiological benefits and resistance to fungal diseases. The fungal disease in question is Claridia jacksonii, which causes dollar spot. And we believe that it uh, reduces the disease severity of dollar spot potentially through our EFE AFPA protein. So the objective here is to test multiple expression systems for the expression of EFE AFPA and determine its activity against a Neurospora crassa test organism to then determine its activity against Claria jacksonii mycelium, the dollar spot mycelium, and to determine if a transgenic Pickia pastoris expressing our AFPA can inhibit gray mold of apples. This is a proof of concept before we test it uh, on dollar spot on turf grasses in a greenhouse setting. So now we will move on to the results and conclusions of our current experiments. First, we have here the multiple expression systems we use to produce EFE AFPA. We utilize the bacterial Cirquia coli, a yeast Pickia pastoris, and a fungal Penicillium chrysogenum. The activities of all of our AFPAs will be compared to PAF, which is the native Penicillium chrysogenum protein. Uh, this antifungal protein has a high degree of structural and sequence similarity to our EFE AFPA, so it's a good control to have. So after purifying all of our EFE AFPAs from their respective uh, expression system, we then tested their activity against Neurospora crassa canidia in a 96 well plate uh, percent inhibition experiment, which was measured spectrophotomically at an OD of 620 nanometers. So our control PAF is shown here, and we're going to compare it to each of our expression systems. So B in red is the bacterial expression system, C in green is the yeast expression system, and D is uh, purple, which is the Penicillium chrysogenum fungal expression system. So there appears to be an expression system uh, effect on the activity of our protein, where the Penicillium system produced an EFE AFPA with very similar inhibition uh, to uh, Neurospora as seen in the PAF Neurospora activity assay. This, given that uh, PAF is highly similar in structure to AFPA, uh, was uh, results enough for us to believe that the penicillium system was a good system to express our protein. Now that we have the penicillium system to express our EFE AFPA, we then produced and purified more of it and tested it and PAF against Claridia jacksonii mycelium using Evans blue stain. Evans blue stain will only enter mycelium whose plasma membranes have been disrupted. So in A, we can see that mycelium challenged with our EFE AFPA protein had a high degree of staining, whereas in B, mycelium that's been challenged with PAF had no staining as compared to the control, which was just water. So while EFE AFPA and PAF are structurally similar and have a high sequence similarity, and they even have high similarity in their activity against Neurospora crassa canidia, there's a distinct difference here in the activity against Claridia jacksonii mycelium. So now that we have our AFPA protein and we know that it's active against Claridia jacksonii mycelium, we want to test if we can use it as a biocontrol on turf grass. But before that, we want to uh, utilize it in a more characterized uh, system to get a better idea of how it would work. So we chose gray mold of apple, which is caused by Botrytis cinerea. So first we used our pure protein and tested activity against Botrytis cinerea canidia 
much like we tested Neurospora crassa in a 96-well plate at um, an absorbance of 620 nanometers, and we saw over a wide range of concentrations that our EFE AFPA had a high uh, inhibitory activity against the canidia. So now that we know our EFE AFPA has inhibitory activity against Botrytis cinerea canidia, we utilized our previously uh, generated Pica pastoris transgenic line that's producing EFE AFPA and tested it on apples infected with Botrytis cinerea, and we measured this in two different ways. Graph A is the percent disease incidence, so that is um, how many apples are actually showing disease, and we measured at day four and day six. So the water treated has nearly 100% by day four and 100% by day six, as compared to our yeast treated, where day four there's almost no apples with um, disease, and by day six there are apples with disease, but it's reduced as compared to the water treatment. Graph B shows the disease diameter, so that's um, the actual uh, size of the uh, infection on the apples and we see a similar trend that by day four there is um, infection on the water control with reduced infection or no infection on the yeast treatments and by day six uh, you're getting more infection on the yeast treatments but they are reduced as compared to the water control images c and d here just show you day four and six respectively so by day four the water treated um, apple is infected with botrytis whereas our yeast treated here are not. And then by day six, the uh, water treatment is heavily infected while our yeast treated is infected, but it is reduced in comparison. So while both yeast strains did inhibit botrytis, we did not see an enhanced level of suppression with our transgenic EFE AFPA, which is not what we expected, given that our pure protein 96 well plate did show that it has inhibitory effects. So to summarize, there appears to be an expression system effect on the activity of EFE AFPA against Neurospora crassa canidia, as seen by our bacterial, yeast, and fungal system having uh, varying inhibitions against the canidia. We of course chose our penicillium system as the optimal one because its inhibition profile was very similar to PAF. Penicillium chrysogenum produced EFE AFPA has activity against Claridia jacksonia mycelium as shown by our Evans blue stain and Botrytis cinerea canidia, as shown by our 96 well plate assay. And while both Pichia pastoris strains were able to reduce the um, Botrytis cinerea infection and disease diameter on Apple, there was no enhanced effect from our transgenic AFPA line, which is unexpected as AFPA did have activity against Botrytis cinerea at all concentrations. So to follow up with this, we'll be using our pure protein on apples with Botrytis cinerea to determine its effect. And if that goes well, we'll be moving on to a greenhouse uh, turf grass infection study where we'll be infecting both Festuca rubra and Agrossus stolfenera creeping bent grass with dollar spot and using our AFPA to determine if it can be a viable biocontrol. So quickly, I would just like to acknowledge the USGA Rucker Center for Turfgrass Science and the Hatch Project for helping fund this research. And of course, here are the uh, references for our work. And I would just like to say thank you so much for listening. And if you'd like to contact me, my email can be found on the department website. Thank you.